In the year 1821, after surviving 400 years under Ottoman occupation, a few heroic Greeks start a revolution that will ultimately lead to the modern state of Greece. Under the support and guidance of the diaspora Greeks of Philikia Eteria, ideas about freedom from Ottoman oppression and dreams about an independent homeland start spreading. On February 22, 1821, Alexandros Sipsiladis, a diaspora Greek, senior officer of the Imperial Russian Cavalry, an elected leader of Filiki Eteria, crosses the Prut River and starts the campaign against the Ottoman Empire. On March 17, 1821, at Aeropoli in the Mani Peninsula, leader Petrobeis Mavromichalis gathers the Maniates and together decide the start of the race towards freedom. Great revolutionaries Petros Mavromichalis, an eventual national hero Theodoros Kolokotronis, leading a ragtag group of men free the first city, Kalamata. On March 25th, 1821, the Greek bishop Paleon Patron Germanos raises the flag of the revolution against the mighty Ottoman Empire. At the monastery of Agia Lavra near Kalavrita, the heroic priest signals the beginning of revolt. Those present vow. Eleftheria e thanatos, freedom or death, is the war cry that reverberates all across occupied Greece. On March 28th, Lascarina Bubulina, a wealthy ship owner, turns to a fearless warrior and sparks the revolution in the Aegean islands of Spetses, Idra and Psara. The next day on March 29th, Athanasius Diakos, a daring fighter from the rugged mountains of central Greece, leads a contingent of fighters to liberate the town of Livadia. On April 1st, 1821, after three days of vicious hand-to-hand -hand fighting, the Greeks liberate the town. On April 24th, Diakos and his heroic men find themselves surrounded by an overwhelming Ottoman force at the bridge of Alamana. Diakos has only 48 men, but he chooses to stay and fight. He's captured. His extraordinarily gruesome punishment, death by impalement, becomes a symbol of Ottomans' brutality and barbarism. On September 23, 1821, the Greeks achieve a major blow to the enormous Ottoman army as Kolokotronis liberates Tripoli, the most strategically important city of the enemy. By now, his military genius and his victory in Tripoli make Kolokotronis the preeminent leader of the war. On March 30th, 1822, Ottoman troops destroy the island of Hughes. Thousands of local Greeks are murdered and 50,000 are sold to slavery. The massacre provokes international outrage and leads to an increasing support for the Greek cause worldwide. On June 6, 1822, Kostadinos Canaris, together with a few brave men, managed to place a fire ship next to the flagship of the Ottoman Navy off the island of Chios, causing a massive explosion. The Ottomans are devastated as 2,000 of their men are killed. On July 26, 1822, Kolokotronis decides to follow the footsteps of King Leonidas. With a few men fighting against a vast army, he forces his enemy into a narrow passage between two mountains and crushes the Ottoman army at Dervenakia. Elinus, today we were born and today we will die for the freedom of our country, Kolokotronis declares to his men. Throughout 1822 and 1823, the Greeks advance with new important victories in the Peloponnese and in Rumeli. In 1824, the Sultan, in a state of panic, asks for Egypt's help to crush the Greek Revolution. On May 20th, 1825, Papa Flesas, an Orthodox priest, becomes a heroic fighter. He selflessly fights at Maniaki in southern Peloponnese. After a fierce hand-to-hand -hand combat, he dies in battle. Ibrahim, the Egyptian general, gives the order for his body to be recovered and be placed upright on an oak tree as a mark of respect for a valiant foe. He then goes close to him, touches his head and says, it was a sin for this warlord to perish. On April 15, 1825, the Ottomans start the siege of Mesologi. The brave residents withstand it for a whole year, but as their supplies and ammunition dwindle, the desperate Greeks start a heroic exodus, knowing the odds they face. Out of thousands of people, only 1,000 men survive, while 6,000 women and children are sold to slavery. As the horrific news spread in Europe, the Mesologi massacre influences the eventual decision of Britain, France and Russia to intervene in the conflict. On October 20th, 1827, the Allied ships deal a death blow to the Ottoman Navy in the historic Battle of Navarino. 
the entire Ottoman fleet is in ashes. The battle puts an end to the thought of Ottomans to recapture parts of Greece they had lost. On January 6th, 1828, Ioannis Kapodistrias sets foot in Nafplio and becomes the first head of state of an independent Greece, also declaring Nafplio as the first capital. On February 3rd, 1830, the three great powers of the era, Britain, France and Russia, recognized Greece as an independent country. After almost 400 years of slavery and a decade of bloody war against the seemingly unbeatable Goliath, Greeks now realize their dream of a free homeland.